everybody um it's savannah in today's video i'm going to be showing you how to do this like sunset look thing i don't really know like i was bored and i was like hey let's do my makeup so it's like mainly drugstore like, kind of high end i don't really have like that many high-end products but yeah i just wanted to film this because i'm bored and i miss doing youtube i used to like post all the time like two years ago and then i gave up but now that it's summer i think it's just fun to do it and don't mind my headband i just wanted to hide my big forehead because self-conscious so anyways let's get into the tutorial so the first thing I'm gonna do is fix my eyebrows because they're looking a hot mess but I already did moisturize and everything so my skin's already prepped and ready to go to do my brows I'm gonna be using the Milani easy brow like automatic pencil thing I really like it it's cheap because I don't have any money so yeah so these definitely don't match at all but eyebrows are sisters not twins. To my eyelids, I'm gonna use the CoverGirl Clean Matte BB Cream foundation thingy to prime my lids because my concealer is too light since I've been out in the sun all day, all summer. So we're just gonna pop that on and blend it out just to clean up the brows and to make sure our eyelids are ready for some shadow. Now I'm gonna take my Cody Airspun Loose Face Powder and this is like extra coverage, translucent, whatever. And I'm gonna just set that with a little technique sponge. It's not even wet. I didn't feel like getting up and wetting it, so it's fine. Okay. So I think for this tutorial, I'm just gonna do one eye at a time because honestly, I don't really know what I'm gonna do yet. And I don't even know if it's gonna turn out right. Like, I don't even know if I'm gonna post this video. <laughs> to be honest, I don't have the right palettes to do this look, but I think I'm gonna go for like a sunset makeup look thing. So wish me luck. I'm just gonna do the first eye with you guys and then we can all just make mistakes together. You can just witness whatever this is gonna look like on camera. So I wanna do like a sunset look. So I think the first thing I'm gonna go with is I'm gonna take this matte pink color and it's from a palette that's like extremely old. So honestly, I don't even know if you can even like find it anymore, but like this is really like baby doll matte pink. I'll show you and I'm just gonna apply that lightly to my crease to get this kind of base thing started. I don't even know if you can see it. Like the, like honestly this palette's like three years old so I'm pretty sure the colors probably don't even work. So before I get too deep in this look, I'm gonna take a little bit of washi tape because I don't know where my like scotch tape is and just apply that so it doesn't like go everywhere crazy so just kind of do that i never saw people did this until like i tried it one time and then i was like wow now i'm gonna go with like a slightly less fluffy brush it's kind of like fluffy but like it's thinner so it's like more flat i guess and i'm gonna take this really hot pink to kind of transition from pink to orange so yeah i'm taking this hot pink color which actually let me show you so okay the colors that i used for the Baby pink is this one and this one. And then for the hot pink, I'm taking this color right here. So mid thing, I just decided to make this a halo eye. So you're just gonna bring this orange and kind of make it like a little rainbow. Like just blend it in this U shape and kind of just blend it in with the pink and have a great time. This brush right here. It's, it was 25 cents off of that like Wish app. I don't know where you can get it from. But I'm gonna take this really deep like royal purple and kind of like put that between the orange and the pink. Actually, I'm scared, I don't know. Let me do it, YOLO. Now I'm gonna go back in with the orange so it remembers who it is and where it came from as I said earlier. See, it looks really good or like a mistake. I'm not really sure which one yet. So next, I'm gonna go in with my Maybelline Fit Me Concealer in 25 and just apply that in the middle where the orange kind of ends. So that way, whatever either glitter or color I put there is gonna really pop and really look nice. So I'm gonna do that. Put a little dot and then just blend it out with my finger. And be really careful not to blink because one time I was doing a look like this and I blinked and it got on my upper thing and I had to re-blend everything and it was just, it was so upsetting. I'm going to go into my Urban Decay and Naked palette and then I'm going to just, what was that noise? I'm going to take the color Half Baked and just apply that to the center because this is going to be our sun for the sunset. I'm going to take my Urban Decay setting spray and spray the end of my little brush thingy. Spray my whole palette with water, okay. We're going to have the sunset looking good, so oh yeah that's good that's good if i had gold glitter i would definitely use gold glitter but i do not unfortunately so we're gonna have to suffice with this so 
spice was a really fancy word for me. And like I'm kind of going outside of the place where I put concealer just because we're going to have to blend this orange into this gold so it doesn't look like a hot mess. So it's okay to go outside the lines a little bit. So now I'm going back in with the orange and I'm going to blend in this gold so we're not looking at a mess. And I'm going to take like the really, really deep, like almost reddish orange because just for this little part right here, just so you can really like blend it and just get it looking right because it's not looking right right now. So. Okay, so I went back in and made it a little longer and added some red to the very like inner parts of the gold. And I think we're good. So I'm going to go back in with the orange and the purple and kind of just reblend everything out. And then I'll come back to you when that's... And then I'm going to go deeper with the purple on the outside. Like, apply most of the purple to the outside and then kind of like bring it in. And then I'm going to take the teensiest, the, te the teensiest bit of black and put that on a flat kind of brush like this and then like just carve out that orange black from my kylie jenner palette the bronze palette and take that black right there and I'm gonna do i just kicked the camera you know thinking about it now i should have just done the purple and then cut creased it and then put the orange but I wasn't thinking, so tip of the wise, always think about what you're doing because otherwise you'll end up like me and be blending a purple shade for 20 minutes. I'm going back in with the orange again because... Okay, next I'm gonna take this silver glitter because it's the only glitter that I have. It's this LA Splash glitter. And like I know the inside's gold, but like the silver might, it might make it more glittery because that's really what I want, like just really glittery because I'm extra. So hopefully it adds the glitter to it to apply. I use this e.l.f. Like it's like this e.l.f. glitter eyeliner and like I use it to like apply glitter because it's like glittery already and it's really sticky. So it helps this stuff stick. I'm gonna go back in with that pink and really like fix it right here. And then I'll add some highlight and then we might be kind of almost done. Okay, so for highlight, I'm gonna be using Virgin from the Naked One palette and just highlighting my inner corner and my brow bone, so, yes. I'm gonna be also taking Sin, the second color, and mixing that in just to make it pop. Okay, so now I'm going to take my Kat Von D tattoo liner and just do a little wing and then apply lashes. For real, watch me mess this up. Like, I will be the one to mess up after all this work I did. And if I do, then I'm just not gonna post this video. I'm not gonna get too thick with it because the glitter's in the, like, the lash line. I don't wanna like mess that up, so. I take off the tape and... No, I don't know how to feel about this liner. Okay, so I got a baby wipe because I couldn't find any makeup wipes. Like, how am I gonna make a makeup video and not even freaking have makeup wipes? But, but I'm gonna go ahead and do the other eye. Let's just take a second and pray that it looks at least somewhat decent compared to this one because I put so much time. Like, I've really been out here for like 30 minutes doing this. I've been trying to do this other side for the longest time, and the eyeliner is just not like I've never had this many problems with eyeliner in my whole entire life. So I'm about to just like freaking just not do it it's like i'm gonna do it because the unevenness would bother me so this is probably like the worst eyeliner i've ever done in my life but you know what like at this point like i just hopefully when false lashes are put on it'll be fine like you probably won't even notice so for lashes i'm gonna be using the duo lash glue and these la color lashes that i got from like the dollar store because i didn't I just really needed new, I really needed new lashes. The Diva ones, number 969, they look like this. Come in a little bag like that. I mean, I think they're pretty, so it's, it's all good. So while this dries, I'm gonna go ahead and do my face makeup. So I'm gonna use the baby skin on my face because I'm only gonna wear this like two more hours because I have driving school later. So like, I'm not gonna like do a full face and just take it off of my high-end stuff, so. 
It's gonna take that and then I'm gonna like use this brush to rub it in because I don't like using my fingers for things. And also I have this headband on because my forehead is literally gigantic and I'm not trying to expose myself like that on the internet. So yeah, we're keeping it on. So come at me. It's okay. I understand. I just spent like 10 minutes fixing this eyelash and I don't even think like I even did it right. Like honestly. Just, just ignore my eyelashes. I don't even care. For my teasing, I'm going to take this Stay Matte Rimmel Primer because I like this. It keeps me matte for a long, periodically time. And it works really well for me, so I'm just going to keep that. So for face makeup, I'm going to be using this Cover Girl Clean Matte BB Cream Foundation Thingy. It's a medium 450. I don't even know if this matches me, but I got it last summer. And none of my other foundations match me right now. And I don't feel like buying a new one, so. Yeah, I like this one because it's like a BB cream more of like a, than like a foundation. So it's really good summertime and it's really lightweight and it's good coverage too so for concealer i'm going to use the maybelline baby concealer in 25 and i don't really know if this is honestly what is this i don't know if it's light enough honestly what is that that's light enough okay never mind we're good yeah we're gonna stuff all that under our eyes this is kind of old so it kind of looks a little pasty so just don't just don't mind set all of the highlighting that I just did. So, something I got on my eyebrow which I'm kind of upset about, not gonna lie. But and then I'm gonna take the NYX contour kit and I'm gonna take these like little middle shades here. Yeah, but not the glare. Take these like middle shades and just lightly, lightly contour because we're already kind of tan enough out here and we don't really need to go like crazy. And since the eyes are so much, I'm gonna, okay, so for lips, I'm gonna take this Academy of Color lip liner and I have no idea what shade it is in, but it's like a dark brown. And just line my lips with this. It actually looks really bad, but like I promise, it doesn't look this bad in person. I'm gonna be real with you. So now I'm gonna take this Wet n Wild liquid lipstick thingy, liquid catsuit matte lipstick in Rebel Rose and apply that to my lips. <laughs> something darker. I'm gonna take this Real Phoenix brush and just dust off this bake because I kind of forgot it was on, not gonna lie. So since it's summertime, I like to make sure my highlight's like extra, extra gonna stay. So I use this Wet n Wild Mega Glow in When the Nude Strikes. I'm pretty sure mine's broken by the way because like, it's like, I don't think it's supposed to happen. I'm not see what I'm doing. But just rub it in like this and it's definitely really obvious. The Wet n Wild highlight in Precious Petals, and this is so pretty. Like, do we see this? That's pretty. And I just put it on places where. I'm gonna like fix my forehead because. Do we see the color difference? Like, I'm ashamed that I let that happen. I'm gonna take a little bit of Precious Petals and put that on my brow. <laughs> Make sure you give this video a thumbs up and subscribe because I like doing this. I think it's fun. I need to fix my forehead. It's not fun to doubt. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. And yeah, I'll see you guys next time. Bye.